Today I'm going to be using this natural weather wood. I get it from Hobby Lobby in a bundle of four pieces. They measure 24 by five and a half inches. And at the top, I'm just going to be making different angle cuts. You can really create any angle cut of your choice. And then I'm going to cut that on my miter saw. So one piece I just did one angle. The second piece I did one side a little longer than the other. And then my third piece I cut evenly on both sides. And then I also trimmed one of the pieces of wood to 19 inches just to make it a little shorter. I have these wood pieces. I get these right from the Dollar Tree. I believe they're about 10 inches in length. And I'm going to cut them so they trim the tops of my wood where I cut. So I'm just measuring. I'm going to have them overhang just by a little bit. And I'm just marking where I need to trim those. And then I did the same thing using my miter saw. I just cut on the lines that I created. I got this whole saw kit from Lowe's. It came with six different sizes and it just is an attachment that goes to the end of your drill. And I'm using the one and a half inch size and I'm just going to make a hole in the three pieces of wood. Next, I have two yardsticks. I'm going to stain those using my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain, and I'm also staining all the small pieces of wood that we cut. I'm then going to go back to my larger pieces of wood. I'm going to paint each of those. You can pick any colors of your choice. This is Higgins Lake from Wise Owl Paint. All paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. The second piece of wood I am going to be painting with some Wise Owl Dried Thyme. And I just gave these one good coat. If some of the wood peeks through, because this is a very rough weathered wood, I like that look. And then the third piece I'm going to paint with some Wise Owl Goldenrod. And now this is the piece that we cut to the 19 inches, so it is a little shorter than the other two pieces. Once everything has fully dried, your glue will not adhere well if your paint and your stain are not dry. I'm going to add these small pieces to the tops of my weathered wood. And remember, I cut these small pieces so that they fit onto each angle at the top of the wood. And I'm just adhering that with some hot glue. If this is going to be something that sits outside, especially in the hot weather or the cold weather, you do want to use a good wood glue. And I did that to all three pieces of the weathered wood. You can also use the metal ribbon to create a roof. You could really pick anything of your choice. I'm going to lay the three large pieces of wood with the back facing up. And I'm placing the smallest one in the center. And I'm going to glue my yardstick to the back side. Now I measured six inches up from the bottom and six inches down from the top. And that was my guide so that I kept everything straight and I kept them about an inch apart. Again, I am using some hot glue to adhere everything. But if you do want something with a stronger hold, I do recommend something like the Elmer's wood glue. Once I had the two pieces glued to the yardstick, I'm going to flip it to the front and just add my third piece. Now the two end pieces I put all the way to the end of the yardstick to use this straight edge as my guide. Again, I wanna to try to keep everything nice and straight. I have these wood bird cutouts. The brand is Art Mines. They came six pieces in a pack. I believe I got them from Michaels. And I'm going to be painting all four of them with some Wise Owl black paint. I'm going to allow that to fully dry and then I'm just going to take a ch chip brush and apply some Wise Owl Snow Owl. And I'm just dry brushing this on. I want the black to pop through. Then I will lay those on my birdhouses. You can scatter them however you'd like to. And I'm going to glue those down with my hot glue. I thought it would also be cute if you added some words to it saying home sweet home with each word on its own slat. 
And to cover the hole, I added this little cute bow. And there we go. Now we just have this fun birdhouse decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.